Hey there, it's Richie here. Now, if you're at all interested in smartphones and wearables, then you've probably heard of Google Glass. In fact, you might have heard of Google Glass for all the wrong reasons lately as well. A couple of weeks ago, Google opened up the beta product called the Explorer Edition to the public in the States, giving US residents an opportunity to purchase one at the bargain price of $1,500 a pop. But they did throw in a pair of sunnies to close the deal. So what exactly do you get when you hand over your Google Wallet? Because that's how you pay for it. Let's find out in a segment called What's in the Bag? So this is the Google Glass, or rather the protective bag that comes in the package when you receive your order uh, for your glasses. So like Yoda going through Luke's stuff, let's see what remains after all the cardboard and plastic wrapping has been thrown away. First of all, we have the power supply. It's a standard five volt, one amp output, safe for any power point from 110 to 240 volts, along with a micro USB cable that connects to it. Now you can trickle charge through a USB output on a PC or notebook, or use the power supply, which gives you a quicker charge. Then we have the little earpiece that connects to the glass for private audio and making phone calls and those sort of things. And here's the little slip that the shades come in. And finally, here is Google Glass. Now I have the Google defined color of charcoal, but let's just call it black. And it's definitely an understated color, unlike some of the other choices. So how much does it weigh? Well, actually much less than half of this Galaxy S5. So on the face, it probably shouldn't feel that much different to a normal pair of sunnies. Let's take a look around the glass. First of all, as you can see, it's not foldable. They're, if they're not on your head, uh, they're not going in your back pocket. So you'll need some kind of storage. And given the battery life currently on these, you will want to plan your stowaway in advance, hence the satchel. So let me show you some of the details on the glass. Uh, the whole thing is held together by this uh, one piece titanium frame on which everything else is bonded to it. Uh, these nose rests are adjustable for the nose bridge to make them sit at the right height, which is really important for the uh, prism. At the back here is the battery compartment. Well, that has to go somewhere, right? Uh, then going up the side, we have the uh, USB port right there for charging and this surface here for touch control. Now this section here also vibrates and sends signals through your skull that converts into sound. And then here is the swivel joint that helps you position the glass prism for the best viewing angle. And right next to the prism is this area here and this is the camera of Google Glass which has been the cause of a lot of negative publicity surrounding Google Glass. And of course, we'll be covering that subject as well. And that's glass, so let's put them on for a moment. Ah, there we go. How do they feel? How do I look? Well, I'll be testing that out for both the great and not so great aspects of what glass, and by extension, face-based wearables can do. So thanks for watching and I hope you can join me again for more glass and tech segments. Until next time.